on Disney's Doug, Roger Klotz has grown a catchphrase besides the word loser. And that catchphrase is Joey Cucamonga. Roger Klotz's mother, uh, Edwina Klotz, won the lottery and now she's rich. She runs her own hair salon downtown. One time, uh, Patty suspected her dad of dating Edwina Klotz because of the initials EK. Uh, so she sent Doug in to investigate the situation, even though he had just gotten a haircut. He came out of the salon with a perm. It was three feet high and red. It was quite ridiculous. It's impossible because he has like nine hairs. Anyway, it turned out that Patty's dad was indeed uh, dating their English teacher, the quick costume changing uh, Miss Crystal, who he later married at the end of the series. Also, when the Beats got back together after breaking up on the first episode of Disney's Doug, aka brand spanking new Doug. I have not seen Doug's first movie. I would probably buy it or steal it if it were available on digital versatile disc. Uh, the reason I say that is because within this specific frame of this mission, they mentioned that this was the Beats farewell tour that I'm about to go cover. Um, I'm not sure if this is the end of their tour or if they have somehow re-broken up. That would be quite the shame. Or perhaps not. The Beats seem kind of creepy, really, when you think about it. For some reason, they're pandering to middle schoolers with songs about allowance and mowing the lawn, and it doesn't make a lot of sense. They're kind of old. I could see if it were kind of a Fresh Prince thing, where they were still maybe, like, close to teenagers, but they seem like they're at least middle-aged, and it's kind of that uh, in sync situation where you have uh, 9, 10, and 11-year-olds all completely obsessed with middle-aged adults, I'm kind of terrified of the beats.